again, crazy bag lady. <laughs> Look at the weather. It's 10 to 8 in the morning. It's disgusting. We should all be in bed. Look at the cold. Are you okay, Ruby? Uh -huh. <laughs> you can get in. Oh, it's so horrible. Minus 4.5. Oh, I should still be in bed. <laughs> yeah, we should still be in bed. Right, I'm home. Need to get some makeup on, make myself look human. Well, today is a very special day. What day is it, say, Dolly? It's your birthday! Woohoo! <laughs> it's your birthday! So, Dolly is one today. We're gonna party like it's your birthday! Woohoo! It's your birthday! So, Dolly is one today, and unbelievably, she is booked in at the groomers. Um, it wasn't done on purpose, it's just coincidence that she's on at the groomers today and it fell on her birthday. It's your birthday! Happy birthday! So I've got your little cum tree, I'm going to fill it up in a minute so you can have a little birthday morning tree! Oh, is it your birthday? <laughs> I know, I'm doing your little cum thing. So we get a tree and we push it inside, she says, because I can't do it when I'm dead. I push it inside. And then she sits and sucks it like a lollipop until she can try and get it out. Happy birthday morning, my dear. Oh, so I know we've said it's cold, but let's take a minute to appreciate how pretty this is. Look, Jack Frost has been very busy. It's so pretty. It's like lace on your window. And then you've got like the little tree in the middle. It's really cute. Oh. Right, I've had a couple of questions about my serum. So, ready? I get it. I pump it just once, like that. That's how much I put on. And I just dub it on my cheeks, on my forehead, and rub it in. I've had a few people saying, how do I apply it? That's how I apply it. And then I rub it in. And then I've also got this little massage thing which you don't have to use all of these, but this is just my new little toy and I love it. Makes your skin feel lovely, it like plumps you up. So I rub all this in and it soon, it soon soaks in and just sort of like disappears into your skin, but just makes your skin feel absolutely wonderful. But I've just used this as well to like pump it up. And then when it's dry, you can kind of feel it like it starts to set. Then I get my white stuff. And again, I only use a tiny bit I literally hardly use any because I don't want my skin to be too greasy and then I just again rub it over the top and it's just oh, I don't know what it is but it's just wonderful oh it feels so nice makes your skin feel just absolutely wonderful and I use this as well but I've already put this on so I just use a little tiny dot of this around my eyes it's so good right and that's how I use my cream and hydrating primer and again just use about that much on the cheek cheek forehead and just rub it all in you can use two hands obviously but i'm still holding this and rub it all in and this just gives you like a really lovely base for your foundation so god oh and again makes your skin feel bloody wonderful <laughs> and foundation so i've got two colors blob them both on my one finger a bit on each cheek nose up here and then i get both my hands rub it in like this just to like evenly spread it everywhere and then i've got my little makeup sponge and then what i do i go over it all to sort of squash it into place and don't forget to go down your neck as well because there's nothing worse than a different coloured neck and a different coloured face and I squash it all in. You can get these little sponges from like Superdrug Boots and I just work it all into my skin. I hope that helps. <laughs> I'm no makeup artist at all. Um, I just go with the flow. We just squash and learn. <laughs> and that's my foundation. 
right trying to decide what to put on it's difficult when it's so chilly so i've got this lovely jumper then i think i'll be too cold because my neck's on show unless i can find like a little pony neck to put under it but so cute i love it oh, right breakfast so i was very good last night i had no chocolate or crisps or anything so day two of trying to be good We've got two Weetabix, chopped banana, which is my bee box on summer oil, so you get two Weetabix, and then I've skimmed milk with it, which will be my A box. Right, I think we're ready. Are you ready? Oh, I need to tidy up, there's just stuff everywhere. Oh, are you ready? What's your birthday? <laughs> so, after the day, I've got a little blue blues, little blues, <laughs> leggings, little bag, my new jumper, not my new jumper, my nice favourite jumper, and my fluffy mango coat, which I've not worn for absolutely ages. So, I'm going to drop Dolly off at the groomers and then we'll go for a rummage and chair shop. Ooh, let's go. Right, we've made it into the car. Got your seatbelt on. <laughs> like little seatbelt, don't you? Are you ready? We're going for a wash. We're going for a wash. Let's go. We've arrived. It's a birthday. I'm so excited for you. You won. <laughs> I've probably said happy birthday far too many times today. Are you excited? Right, let's go. That's little Dolly all dropped off, bless her. So we arrived at the chair shop. There used to be two chair shops here. Sadly, one closed down. It's so sad. I'm going to walk past it in a minute and you'll see it's all empty. It's so sad. So we've only got one to rummage in. So let's go. And back in the car. Well, it was very interesting. I went to the changing room twice, so trying different things on, faffing about. So, really did have a really good rummage. Had a good sale rail, a few little bits on there that was interesting. And yeah, but it's sad about the other one. Look, it's so sad. It's all empty. So I've now got to wait for my little doggy to be done. We've arrived. Pick her up. So we've got about five minutes to wait, and then she'll be ready. We're back in the car. Dolly! <laughs> you 
can't see the full extent of it, but when we get home, we'll show you. But you look super fancy. Have you had a nice time? Is the sun shining on you on your birthday? <laughs> right, let's get you home. Da -da! So, the birthday girl has had a lilac tail. Um, she didn't have any pink left. She'd only really bought the colours for Christmas. So I was like, what you need to do something, it's a birthday. So she's had a lilac. So you've got a lilac tail. Don't you look fancy? Hey. I think she did a tiny bit of lilac on her ears, but a lot of it is like the leftover pink from last time. So you're very pastely, aren't you? They look very cute. Did you have a nice wash? <laughs> right, what dinner band's going in? So I bought some Marks and Spencer's like thermally leggings. Um, I bet they would have been well expensive when they were new. Um, so they're just lovely thick leggings. They've got like a slight pattern to them as thermal stuff does. Um, but I thought you could probably wear them with like a big jumper and stuff as long as it covers your bottom. Um, I don't think you need to wear them as like a second layer. Probably get away with just wearing them on their own. I got this, which is. I'm getting a bit ahead of myself, summer visor. Ah, and then it's got this gorgeous, like long bit at the back. I thought it was so pretty. Um, obviously you can tighten the bow and I thought in summer that's just so nice. And then I got a cute little berry, it's a Zara one. Obviously I got my private one the other day, um, but I really like the color of this one as well and I like the pattern in it. So I might wear it this afternoon. Love it. So that was what I bought. Right, dinner. So I've got myself a cup of coffee in my posh cup and saucer. And I've made myself a mugshot uh, sweet and sour noodles, which I think is one sin on Summer World. I will have it with some tomatoes as well, which is my like third of a plate of speed food. So I'm having that with some tomatoes. Right, we're in the car. So I've got my hat on. I look a bit of a wally but it is nice and warm you need it it's so cold it's minus uh oh no it's 1.5 degrees so it's gone up a little bit the temperature so we're off to the shop we've got a post parcel um and dropping another little parcel off at one of those locker things so off we go oh, thank you There's a charity shop on the way home, so we're going to go for a little rummage.
Right, back in the car, 10 past three. I've got my hubby some overalls, so he's gonna be over the moon for working in. Right, let's go home. Right, we've made it home. So we're gonna go for a really quick walk around the block. And as you can see, Miss Winifred's not so keen. Come on, Winnie, come on. Good girl, that's it. So obviously Winnie's not been for a walk for a few days because we're out, we've been keeping her in. But the vet said we'd still be all right to walk her. So, persuading her to come. A bit of fresh air will do you good. The sun's out, it's lovely. Right, come on, Ellie. Right, we're going to your birthday, but you don't need to bark everybody. Frozen. Oh, so cold. Mm. Oh, right, made it home. So my hubby's gone to get rid of the bus. Oh, it's so chilly outside. Honestly, it's been minus four tonight, I think. So I'm just starting to do tea for my hubby because he's got to go off to his little evening job. Bless him. Are we ready for this? Oh, happy birthday, Dolly! Yeah, we've got your toy! Good girl, what's this? <laughs> oh, it? what have you got? Do you like it? It's an yeah. elephant! Take it! It's time to run off with it, isn't yeah. it? Oh, yeah. yeah! It's a new door! <laughs> right, dinner! So, we've got to tea time. So, for tea say we've got... Tesco, calorie control, chicken. Um, I think it's three sins on Summer World. I've got loads of salad, which I've buried underneath it. Two boiled eggs, which is three. And about five olives, which I think is about two sins again on Summer World. So off to enjoy it. Oh, my tea was lovely. And I've been sat on the sofa doing nothing and everyone keeps staring at me because they're like, come on, you've had your tea? Where's my tea? <laughs> It's now feeding time in the zoo. So everybody's munching into their little teas, bless them. So I'm going to love you and leave you on little Dolly's birthday. So many, many thanks for being there with us. I hope you've enjoyed it. Obviously we've done chair shopping, dog rumours, dog walking. <laughs> and enjoyed the cold but the lovely sunshine. So if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. My dogs have got Instagram, which is Three Fluffles. My website is down below, my Avon shop, my little vintage shop. Um, and my TikTok, I think it's down there somewhere. So it's all down below. So I love you, leave you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.